Day two, Gravy Tim. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Seven Days of Madness. Day two, maybe three or four. Five. I don't actually know which order I'm putting these in. Maybe it's day eight, and uh, you've all hit the subscribe button. I lost track of time, and we're trapped here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. mon ami! What is that wonderful smell in the air, you ask? Oh, mon ami, it is the wonderful smell of my Peugeot Touette on fire! There has been another riot. That's right, it's France in World War II. But not really, because we've got historical focuses off, so everything that you know about France in World War II does not happen. Hopefully. Uh, just remember, if we get uh, 760k subscribers by the time the end of the Seven Days of Madness happened, will you get a special treat of more Seven Days of Madness on the, some point in here? Please hit the subscribe button, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we're back in France, and we have two achievements we're going for today, which is Die Perfidious Albion, which will be a fun one, and then come and make 200 and 150 destroyer ships and have modern ship torpedo launcher. By 1945. Fuuud. Okay, now obviously we are playing with historical focuses off, so we can really hope that the Germans don't beat us up. By not beating us up, we'll have a lot more opportunity to beat Britain up, who I really need to beat up very early. Uh, but for Die Perfidious Albion, we do need to go fascist France, which isn't too difficult if I remember correctly. Now, you have to say, France in Hoi 4 is a lot of fun. You just have to get through all the non-fun parts about it, which we shouldn't even have to worry too much about this game, because the Germans shouldn't declare war on us, hopefully. Um, or they might just stay their historical path, because they can't do that, and then declare war on us, which... <laughs> it won't be too fun. Okay, we are safe. At least our invasion or inevitable downfall is slightly pushed back if they do go the moniker side. If they go democratic, we are completely safe. It takes no time at all to actually switch over to uh, fascism as France. Uh, I got that incredibly quickly. It does shoot your stability beyond belief, but we need a shot so we can kill Britain. Okay, so we have now switched and first things we are doing is getting ourselves a collab on the UK so we get all their factories as soon as possible and once I have the political power I'll get a justification going. Okay, I went ahead and justified on British Malay to keep world attention now, but it's already up to 26%, so it really didn't help that much. And I also just uh, landed completely in a pose, which isn't too odd for a uh, early war against Britain, and I'm definitely not complaining. A little upset about some of the troops getting uh, <laughs> killed by submarines, but we don't, we don't see. Just like that, your empire is now my empire. Here we go. First achievement down. Die Perfidious Albion. Not hard at all. We've just gone ahead and stolen um, the British fleet too. I don't think that counts towards our goal of getting these uh, destroyers. No, oh, actually it actually does count. We just need to get the tech for it now and we're done with that one as well. Now, after securing our brand new empire, we're not done yet though, because we do have to wait until we get their technology to finish this up. So we might as well keep going. And I've got a new target. Oh, well, I was going to declare war on the Americans, but the the Americans declared war on me, which makes my life a hell of a lot easier. And the Americans definitely shouldn't have declared war on me. I am heavily outnumbering them beyond belief. As the very famous philosopher James Rolfe once said, uh, what were they thinking? Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> I just, I have no words for that. I think it's definitely safe to say I have more than enough destroyers to fulfill that achievement now. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and secure myself a non-aggression pact with the Japanese because they will be coming for my land down here at some point and I'm going to turn my head back to Europe now. Got ourselves the first official democratic Germany game <laughs> and they're already forming the Omega Central European Alliance. Oh, and uh, the Soviet Civil War's going on again, and that just conveniently, uh, <laughs> just, uh, a bit of, bit of convenience with that one, huh? Okay, the Germans have made it a war with the Soviets, or, and, uh, I think it's time I get myself involved and take out the Germans. Oh, just as a break from its journey was happening, there is the torpedo achievement too, so technically we're done, but as usual, we're never done. It have Italy in my faction, um, yeah, they had a civil war and they're no longer in my faction. I don't want to talk about it too much. News is we've pretty much capitulated the German faction after we get Sweden out. Bad news is Finland's absolutely huge, and even worse news, the Japanese finally declared war on me. Also, we're having a bit of an issue in one of the colonies. Uh, won't 
Name which one, though? You know, the worst part about this is Italy actually has 920 points when Italy doesn't even own their own country. So I, uh, I beat up the Iberian Socialist Union and that dealt with the colonial issue. Very nice. Yeah. Um... Uh, Finland's really uh, <laughs> going ham today. All right, so we're getting over to India now, where we are going to prepare our invasion of Asia and to, f to deal with the Japanese. Um, it would have been nice if I didn't have to do this, but that is giant Finland. I, I feel like I should be worried, but at the same time, right now, in this point in history, Finland doesn't have a focus tree. There's no way they can go to war with me. No problem with giant Finland. I feel like they could actually be a pretty useful ally here, and to get them to be an ally, I'm gonna have to invade them. Yeah, again, nothing personal, Finland, but your capitulation makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Even more so now that the whole bunch of the Japanese army is just trapped over here. I got the majority of those pockets right there. That actually turned out to be like two million Japanese people. <laughs> yeah, not a bad trade. And yeah, I think uh, quite spells F-U-N like fighting through Siberia. You see that, right? I think I think my Italian friends just like, yeah, they just, okay, please don't go into another civil war. I no idea what the Mexicans are doing. Oh, uh, well, the Mexicans are just conquering everything down here, apparently. I... Why is that the Indian flag? <laughs> I think we broke the game. Um, yeah, I'm not even at war with these guys. They're just... They're just there now. Not gonna question it, they did change their flag. I guess they just had what they had laying around and flew it up. Uh, you know, the weird part about this is that they both just have a focus tree. And uh, I, uh, I have a feeling this might lead to some sort of crashing issue, so we should probably hurry this up. Oh, so sorry, I've uh, <clears throat> unleashed two Italys on the world. I'm sure I will be punished by eternal suffering in hell. Uh, does this mean that if I was to invade this other Italy, uh, if th that they would also spawn another Italy down the line, and I could just keep getting infinite Italys to my heart's desire? Uh, I mean, personally, I think my heart's desire would be zero Italys, but. <laughs> <laughs> you insert, you lose some. The Provisional Government of Italo Ethiopian Somalia. Uh, sure. Yeah, sorry, I have not been paying attention to whatever the hell is going on down here. Uh, oh, so Italo Ethiopian Ethiopia, funnily enough, is actually a collab government from the Italian state of East Africa up here. Which means Italo Ethiopian Somalia is also a collaboration government from up here. Interesting way of governing. Yeah, oh even more interesting, the uh the Italian state of East Africa isn't even Italian anymore. Uh <laughs> they must have broken free. Oh, uh my bad. Uh, I just realized that they also own Djibouti. How did they own Djibouti? Did I give them Djibouti? If that's true, why do I still own French Somaliland? Oh and <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I saw the green part of uh, Libya and was like, oh, it's just some weird Italian stuff. No, that's Bulgaria now. Uh, but I guess they were ever so kind as to leave them the desert part of Libya. Okay, just out of morbid curiosity, I gotta see what happens if I declare war on these guys. I don't really have any units to put down here to fight them, so uh, I guess... Uh, I guess I'll use my puppets. Sorry, I didn't realize there was a whole battle going down in Australia. <laughs> Oops a daisy. Yeah, I'm gonna take you all off the front lines of defending Australia and you're going to fight other Italy. So usually I just go ahead and make tank divisions nowadays, but uh, I thought I'd switch it up and make some self-propelled artillery and uh, yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> the worst part is I haven't even upgraded them. Yeah, they're still on advanced. Hold on, let me, let's make them a little bit better. Okay, so the new one has 89 uh, soft attack and the one one before had 74, so that should be an even more noticeable difference. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is very much a noticeable difference. Uh, very noticeable. Uh, you know, I think I'll go ahead and just take them up to 43 with, and uh, we're almost breaking a thousand soft attack there. I definitely could get it up, but uh, I don't need to. Um, so I guess if I just uh, do a little click on these guys, um, we'll just. We'll just see what they do. Okay, yeah, I I didn't even get that in time. But uh, let's just say they, they do a lot. They they do a disgusting a lot. I'm, I'm literally going across a river right there. And they stand 
No chance! Uh, yeah, these guys aren't even trained either. They're all green. <laughs> I got a few more over here in China, and I think I'm giving the Japanese a run for the war crimes! Yo, oh, I just noticed, uh, somehow Finland has returned, and I think it might have something to do with all these Chinese and Japanese troops in Scandinavia. I don't know. They must have survived from there <laughs> when I, I capitulated the Finns the first time around. Uh, it's okay, though. My friends are all here to help me. We got the Romanians, the Italians... Might be a Bulgarian round here somewhere. Oh, well, screw it. I'm just gonna call everyone in. Let's do it, team. Let's work together. Oh, uh, mm, my, my team ain't looking too good. Dude, do I even have to capitulate? Uh, I, do I have to capitulate Finland again? But I do not have to capitulate China. Well, back I go. All right, question is, can my allies manage to capitulate Finland? That Romanian division? has its mission. Well, the Romanian division took one tile and is now bravely running away in the other direction. Oh no, are they, they're coming to China. <laughs> no, don't need you here. Guys, come on, why, why are you all leaving? Someone just needs to walk into Helsinki and this will be done. I'm kidding me, I actually just took the time to make more divisions and the Romanians turned back up. Oh, yeah, joke's on you though, I will beat you into Helsinki. <laughs> I did it. Uh, so for two times in one video, I have capitulated the finish and uh, I, I guess now we just need to beat the Japanese. Uh, yep, let's go. I've also got my secret weapon <laughs> ready to drop onto the shores. Oh. No one's defending. I'm assuming the Japanese are all dead. They are not nowhere close to being dead. They have 301 divisions. Where? Um, well, th they're certainly not in Japan. And I can't really see too many over in Asia. At least I'm not on the Chinese front. Um, so, <laughs> where are they? You may ask. We will never know. They could be over here. No, no. We never know. Uh, yeah, I feel like the, the Japanese Ministry of Defense might be fluffing the numbers a little. Oh, yes. We, we definitely have 300 divisions, uh, Emperor. <laughs> oh, you want to see them? Uh, you can't. They, they go to a different army. Uh, they, they do. They have 174 infantry divisions alone. I... Where? Where are they? Oh, actually, there's there's a whole bunch up here. I, I get the feeling they've just kind of been stuck up here in northwest China with no way out. Uh, because if you look on the front lines over here in China, it is just all Chinese troops with a few Japanese troops here and there. But you look over in the northwest, that's a lot of Japanese troops. Uh, yeah, there's also most certainly none in Japan itself. I just, I, I looked away, I came back, and it's all over. Well... That was good. There we go. Now, I'd say that is a continental system. I, I think I'd go as far as say intercontinental. Uh, I also thought it would be nice to give Finland back all that land because they deserved it for soloing the USSR. But hey, that was another couple achievements down. Easy peasy. We are finished for today. Uh, another successful day in the madness realm. And uh, to tip it all off, I got myself two Italy's. Look at that. They are, they are both my puppet. This, this is dumb. <laughs> the worst part is, I'm pretty sure if I go to war, they'll probably have another civil war, and another Italy will pop out somewhere. But anyway, that was the two achievements we were going for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to keep going with the Seven Days of Madness, feel free to hit that sub button down below, because it's very much appreciated and desperately needed. Uh, but anyway, my Gravy Timmies from me, and Greater Finland, and I guess France, and two Italy's, Goodbye.